Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome back to my second tag video this week. I guess this is Tag Wednesday. Uh, I'm doing the Springathon Poetry Challenge tag created by Roz over at Scally Dandling about the books. She created this as a way for us to participate in the Springathon uh, reading event this month without necessarily having to take on books because she reasoned rightly that, you know, uh, poetry can be considered maybe, uh, you know, poet poems can be considered for all of these prompts and so she kind of made this challenge this challenge tag to, you know, challenge you to think of poems that fit all five of the prompts uh, from Springathon. Her uh, poems were, um, let's see, The Thrush by, uh, The Thrush's Nest, I'm sorry, by John Clare. I, I like that one. You know, weirdly, I'm not a big bird person, but I like uh, po poetry about birds quite often, as uh, you'll see here. Uh, water, for the prompt of water for, from Springathon, she chose a short story of Falling by Alice Oswald. For the animal prompt, she chose The Trout by Seamus Heaney, who is one of my uh, favorite poets, and uh, you know I, I really enjoyed that one. Of the, of the poems that she picked, that's probably my favorite, just because A, fish, and B, Heaney, those are uh, two things I like a lot. Uh, for the plant prompt, uh, she chose Daisies by Kathleen Jamie, and for Traveler Destination, she chose A Day in Sussex by Wilfred Scowen Blunt. Um, and I enjoyed reading the poems that she gave and the challenge is then for you, the people she tagged, and she was nice enough to tag me, I'll leave a link to her video down below, uh, to come up with with poems which meet all those prompts, which I've done. Now you should know that I still consider myself to be uh, pretty much a novice when it comes to poetry. I did a series about poetry last year called Poetry for Beginners, um, in which um, Kelly from um, books I'm not reading and I kind of picked a poet and we read po poems and we talked about that poetry or that poet and the, their poems back and forth and then we would each make a video. Uh, so I did 12 of those but I am no, by no means uh, an expert uh, on this topic uh, at all but uh, I did choose five poems and you're going to see from my the poems I chose that quite obviously I like poems that are relatively short and don't require a tremendous amount of effort to interpret. So for Bird, uh, this is a really good example. For Bird, my choice was The Eagle by Alfred Lord Tennyson, um, which I like a lot, very descriptive, and again, uh, short and easy to interpret, I think. Uh, for Water, uh, I chose um, Where Once the Waters of Your Face by Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas is one of my favorite poets. Uh, and so what I did was I looked through the book of poetry by Thomas that I'd read and I chose one that had to do with water. I like this one a lot. Uh, I find po Thomas's poetry difficult uh, to read oftentimes, so I'm not sure my reading of it is going to be very good. Um, and uh, on top of that, you know, I, I oftentimes find it difficult necessarily to interpret what Thomas is about. And so I have a tendency to just take Thomas's poet poems at kind of face value, uh, then in a sense he's describing nature, so it fit there. Uh, for three, the animal I chose the panther by Rainer Maria Rilke, which is one of my favorite uh, poems. Um, and again, it's short, and I think it's fairly easy to understand, but I do think it's really emotionally powerful. Uh, by for plant, I chose another incredibly short poem, and that's the sick rose by William Blake. Uh, again, short and I think fairly easy for me to understand. And then for Traveler Destination, I chose Above Pate Valley by Gary Snyder, uh, which essentially uh, describes uh, someone, I assume Snyder, who's been working in, uh, in the mountains um, clearing trails uh, and then him eating lunch at a place where uh, there's been uh, where there's evidence that Native Americans from long ago uh, camped there, had a fire there, uh, and he's making kind of the connection between himself then in the present and those people in the past, which I, I really liked. Uh, Snyder is another one of the poets that we did for uh, Poetry for Beginners. So what I've done here is I recorded myself reading the poems. Sorry, I'm not the best at this, and I put it with a little video footage, and so I'm just going to play those five poems uh, and the me reading them, the readings I'm doing, and the little video clips I made for them in a row here, five in a row, and I, I just noticed I didn't actually go uh, in the order of the prompts, but I think you'll figure it out. Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, you know, I put the animals in the animal one, the bird in the bird one, you'll see what I mean. So. Here are those uh, videos. I hope you enjoy them and my reading doesn't ruin these poems for you.
The Sick Rose by William Blake O oh, rose, thou art sick. The invisible worm that flies in the night in the howling storm has found out thy bed of crimson joy, and his dark secret love does thy life destroy. The Panther by Rainer Maria Rilke His vision from the constantly passing bars has grown so weary that it cannot hold anything else. It seems to him there are a thousand bars, and behind the bars no world. As he paces in cramped circles over and over, the movement of his powerful soft strides is like a ritual dance around a center in which a mighty will stands paralyzed. Only at times, the curtain of the pupils lifts quietly. An image enters in, rushes down through the tensed, arrested muscles, plunges into the heart, and is gone. Above Pate Valley by Gary Snyder We finished clearing the last section of trail by noon, high on the ridge side, 2,000 feet above the creek, reached the pass, went on beyond the white pine groves, granite shoulders, to a small green meadow watered by the snow, edged with aspen, sun straight, high and blazing, but the air was cool. Ate a cold fried trout in the trembling shadows. I spied a glitter and found a flake black volcanic glass obsidian by a flower. Hands and knees pushing the bare grass, thousands of arrowhead leavings over a hundred yards. Not one good head, just razor flakes. On a hill snowed all but summer, a land of fat summer deer, they came to camp. On their own trails, I followed my own trail here. Picked up the cold drill, pick single jack and sack of dynamite. Ten thousand years. The Eagle by Alfred Lord Tennyson He clasped the crag with crooked hands, Close to the sun in lonely lands, Ringed with the azure world, he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, He watches from his mountain walls, And like a thunderbolt he falls. Where Once the Waters of Your Face by Dylan Thomas where once the waters of your face spun to my screws, your dry ghost blows, the dead turns up its eye. Where once the mermen through your ice pushed up their hair, the dry wind steers through salt and root and row. Where once your green knots sank their splice into the tided cord, there goes the green unraveler, his scissors oiled, his knife hung loose to cut the channels at their source and lay the wet fruits low. Invisible, your clocking tides break on the love beds of weeds, the weed of love's left dry. There about your stones the shades of children go, who, from their voids, cry to the dolphin sea. Dry as a tomb, your colored lids shall not be latched while magic glides, sage on the earth and sky. There shall be corals in your beds, there shall be serpents in your tides, till all our sea faiths die. As always, I look forward to any comments you have, and please make those in the comment section below. I'm going to tag Jason from Old Blues Chapter and Verse. I have a feeling that Roz tagged you as well, but whenever I think of poetry, uh, you know, you're the person I think of on BookTube. So I'm going to tag you again. Maybe this will be a double tag. And if you want to do this tag, please do. Um, oh, by the way, Hannah uh, from uh, Hannah's Books also did a version of this, which is just lovely. I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below where Roz's is. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. I look forward to your comments in the comment section below.